<laughs> you got me good! <laughs> The guy I think is right behind me. So we do operate the railroad here. Um, so throughout the week, depending on how busy we get, we, we either run the steam engine or the galloping goose. Um, the goose only runs on our slow period of the time. So mainly Monday through Thursdays. Um, and then for the summer, it takes a nice long vacation and we run the steam engine. Um, aside from this, uh, we do operate a narrow gauge uh, railroad, meaning we are a three foot um, uh, gauge meaning from one end of the track to the other end it's three feet uh, we're, we don't operate like your normal Amtrak UP uh, that is standard gauge and that's about four feet so um, that's the difference on why ours makes a, a narrow gauge uh, so we do have a couple of different equip uh, um, equipment that we operate uh, first is the galloping goose and then we have technically two C19 engines um, it'll be coming around shortly uh, but we do have two of them. Well, fortunately, one is not here and it's not on property. It's actually currently um, in Denver, Colorado, uh, being rebuilt. So originally all our equipment um, was purchased in 1951 uh, by Walter Knott. Um, basically the idea was kind of given to him by Walt Disney. Uh, at the time they were good friends as well. Um, Disney informed uh, Knott, hey, a railroad um, to entertain guests also while they were feeding on the chicken dinner restaurant. So that's why one of the reasons this railroad exists is because of Disney as well. Uh, so not being more trying to be more historical accurate purchased um, actual equipment from Denver Colorado when the Denver and Rio Grande Southern um, went out of business. So they he bought them off at auction. He bought two engines and one engine 340 which is technically the prototype of the C-19 class. So that's actually the first engine that was produced um, and then the number of total of 12. So we have the oldest and the youngest with engine 41. Engine 41 is the one that's in Colorado. Um, so that one's original stamp number is 409 and 340s is actually uh, 400. They're numbered differently at this time. It mainly depended on who purchased them. Uh, since Walter not purchased them with those numbers, uh, they, he kept the same numbers. Only 340 went through a couple um, times being renumbered from 40 and then back to 340. So, um, so we're going to so have... The first one here is the Galloping Goose. Uh, the Galloping Goose was also purchased with our two C-19s. Uh, it doesn't have its original engine anymore. The first thing that... Um, You'll see everybody thinks it's a bus. It's not or a school bus. It's not a school bus. It's actually a military ship. And it was replaced in 1946 with the original um, design of the of the goose kind of started to break down because it's originally a 1927 Pierce Arrow limousine. So the only thing that remains from that Pierce Arrow limousine is actually this bonnet shaped pointed nose cone. But other than that, it's a military bus. That's why it has two double open doors on both sides. So, come this way. Grease pool. Check it out, there's the engine lock. guy have a sand thing? Oh. Check out these tools, guys. Specialty railroad tools, huh? <laughs> Refurbishing one of the coach cars. Cool. There's the airline right there. 
the axles are gone off. Wow. Cool, the inside's gutted out. So the seats. Look, those are some serious wrenches over there, guys. Look at that. Whoa. Must be some of the stuff they find along the road. The road. There's some crazy tools here, guys. I know, it's so greasy and dirty. Yes, old school lanterns over there. Thank you, too.